For this example, negative 7x plus 6 equals 3x squared, we again need to get it equal to 0. Even though there are two terms on the left and only one on the right, remember we want to keep the 3x squared positive, so we're going to leave it there on the right and add 7x to both sides, then subtract 6 from both sides to get 0 equals 3x squared plus 7x minus 6. Notice everything's on one side and the x squared is positive. Our next step is to factor 3x squared plus 7x minus 6. Remember we have to be careful factoring when we have a coefficient other than 1 in front of the x squared. First, we'll multiply the negative 6 by 3 to get x squared plus 7x minus 18 and put a 3x in both sets of parentheses. Now we'll need to find the factors of negative 18. Negative 1 and 18, 1 and negative 18, negative 2 and 9, 2 and negative 9, negative 3 and 6, 3 and negative 6. We want the factors that will add up to a positive 7, so we need to use the negative 2 and positive 9, making our factors 3x minus 2 and 3x plus 9. But don't forget we're not done factoring yet. In order to complete the process, in this case, we do need to reduce whichever factor has a common factor. So notice that in the second set of parentheses, 3 and 9 are both divisible by 3. So we're going to eliminate that 3 to get our final factorization for the equation. 0 equals 3x minus 2 times x plus 3. 3x divided by 3 was the x, and the plus 9 divided by 3 gave us the plus 3. We can finish solving the equation now by using the zero product property. Remember the pattern for finding roots. x equals the opposite of the constant over the coefficient. Using this, we can see that the roots are x equals positive 2 over 3 or negative 3 over 1, which is just negative 3.